Welcome back to every NES game. This time we're looking at... Cabal. Yep, it's Cabal, alright. What is Cabal? Cabal is a game... Well, it is a shooter of some sort. You'll see. Okay, so, Cabal is kind of like this, I don't know, I, I guess you consider it like the weirdest, most rudimentary cover shooter ever made. However, the cover is, will disappear pretty quickly from their attacks. And also, uh, maybe even more importantly, one hit kills. We do have quite a few lives, and we have grenades, but... I do find it difficult to deal with these bullets. Now, this is not the only type of shooter like this, but I will say there aren't a lot like this. Like this weird third person aiming reticle shoot 'em up game like this. Very weird. Makes me think it's needed like a light gun or something. If your character is so big, uh, it's very easy to run into the bullets. Which I find to be a problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. The ending animation for the levels is amazing. <laughs> it just runs screaming like it's like he's screaming towards the next area. You can destroy the vehicles, but they do take more hits as you might imagine. I mean, it's not surprising that I'm not that good at this at this point. And these games exist to kick your ass pretty quickly. Best if you go into them for the first time. And again, I do have just trouble trying to dodge these bullets. I will say the controls are pretty weird, and it takes me a bit to get used to them. Something. I think we got grenades from that power up. However, if you hold the shoot button, it doesn't shoot the throw the grenades. You have to press the button. If that makes sense. Like you have to press it and release it immediately. Or else I want to throw a grenade. There's a lot of there's some weird quirks about the controls that kind of didn't help me to be remotely good at this. <laughs> That's the best, though. It's worth it just for that alone. He's <laughs> running with his arms up towards the next enemy base. Some different enemies here. There's one throwing grenades that look like, I guess, uh, turnips. You know, those helicopters. And there's these uh, gray-shirted guys that, like, uh, can dodge your attacks pretty easily. Though we've already game over quite a bit. And we can't game over again. I, no, I just realized there's... 
Is the one up for... I'll have to check after this, like... Is the one up specifically, like, we're just supposed to destroy the lighthouse and we'll get a one up, or... Is it just part of, like, the UI? It's right between the score and the live, so it's hard for me to say based on this. You can also run quickly by holding B, but... Yeah. It didn't help me so much. Oh, at least we get to put in our initials. Do do do. First place, because none of the other scores are even a score. They're just zero. Yet somehow they got farther. I had no idea how that works. Now, after a bit, I decided to, like, give this game another shot, because I didn't think I knew what I was doing. Because, I don't know. It took me a bit to grasp the controls, because at first I thought I my I really could was stuck with, like, where I move and where I am. It took me a bit to, like, get used to the fact that, uh, if you hold the button, you'll stand still and you can just shoot wherever. Got a more powerful machine gun with that. I don't think I explained this yet, but... I think you have to defeat a certain number of enemies in the states before you move on to the next one. It's either point or state or enemies. <laughs> Still funny. Anyway, on level one three. Yeah, it seems like it might be lighthouse specific, right? Anyway, yeah, at this point, I've got a better idea of what to do, kind of. So I have to take advantage of the cover when I can. Try to kill the enemies while I can. By standing still instead of running around over and over. So, regardless of what happens, it's hard for me to not die, it seems. Still took quite a bit to get through this. But eventually I was able to kill enough enemies. And then... The lighthouse fell. Kind of. <laughs> Did they realize it looked ridiculous? I wonder. Anyway, now we're on uh, an air base or something. We awkwardly destroyed half that plane. <laughs> uh, it's just bombing us. Bit a bit excessive, you know. Okay, so the one up thing was had nothing to do with the lighthouse. Also No <laughs> I didn't notice until now the enemy. Well, I noticed it, but I I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't thinking. God damn it! Like, yeah, every time you kill an enemy, it fills up that bar. We want to get to the want to get to the very top, to the very right. That is. Only I have like six more enemies, seven to kill. There we go. But now we have a boss. This helicopter throwing bombs or something. Now the trick to this is if you run to the left or right, none of this projectiles will hurt you. However, optionally, you can also shoot the any projectiles that get in your way. 
Honestly, the boss is not that difficult at all. Just keep shooting at them, and eventually... You'll win. To that, we go to level 2! Which is definitely in a different location. It's like some sort of like, I don't know, swamp area? I need to stop dying. The guy's in scuba gear. Hide in the water. Just one more enemy and we're done. <laughs> he ran in through the water. <laughs> That's hilarious. But yeah, that was Cabal. Uh... It was kind of fun, but kind of frustrating. Not something that I... I don't know. Like, it's not something where... I think because of the... Having the dodge bullets the way you do in that game, I'm not sure I'd... It's not really something I got much out of. But it plays decently for what it is, I guess. Yeah, especially because there's not a lot of games quite like it. I, there's, there's a couple, I want to say... Was it Wild Guns from the 90s? It was a little bit similar, and there are some other games, but... Yeah, it's... It's a weird take on shooters.